problem with Israel is that uh, problem with Israel is it's basically a, a colonialist state and it began that way in the 1800s by 1948 there were you had 30 percent of the population who were Jews 70 percent Arab it wasn't going to work and so a lot of the Arabs were expelled by uh, the Zionists and the land grab has just kept going and going and going. So at the beginning of the century, Jews owned 7 percent of the land. And then after the partition in 47, they owned, they were given 56 percent of the land. And then they got 78 percent of the land. And now they're settling on the other 22 percent of the land. So it's basically a land grab. And you can dress that land grab out as, um, a, res a legitimate response to the Holocaust. Uh, Jews are unsafe in other parts of the world, but for me, it's it's just that's the problem. It's a land grab, and there's a lack of respect for Palestinian human rights. I wish that um, Americans understood more the conditions under which Palestinians are living in the West Bank and in Gaza. I think that if Americans saw this, uh, on in, in the if the journalism was honest about this, they would be horrified, and they would say, "We cannot uh, support the Israeli government so unilaterally." When we look at the Iraq situation and we look at suicide bombing in Iraq, we say that that has a political component; that it's a dispute over power and territory, oil. And we don't say that it's just religious or that it's fanatics and extremism. And I think that we should be able to look at the Palestinian situation and while not excusing uh, suicide terrorism, saying if your land had been taken away from you on a, this consistent basis for so long, you also would be very desperate. And if walls were going around, if they were uprooting your olive trees, pouring raw sewage on your land, poisoning your goats, you know, you'd be pretty PO'd. I mean, the one theme I was going to suggest, to, the one theme I wanted to bring in is I think that something very interesting is happening right now in the Jewish community, which is that uh, younger Jews are um, having a different response to it. I mean, I'm atypical in my criticism. I'm obviously harshly critical of Israel, and I'm atypical of American Jewry in that attitude. I don't hold myself uh, forward as being representative. But what is happening is that uh, my attitude is more widely shared among young Jews. And that is because uh, older Jews, my parents' generation, which finds my, uh, my ideas uh, very upsetting, grew up with 1948, with 67, 70, with these very heroic images of uh, young Israeli society and this uh, making the desert bloom. And young Jews have grown up with Accusations of apartheid, which I find sub well, the accusations of apartheid, they see them around, you know, they've seen the two intifadas, they've seen some level of Palestinian desperation, they've, and, you know, it's not a fun cause for young Jews. And I think there's been a lot of defection. Uh, my sort of personal defection is one that is, there's a lot of alienation among young Jews. And this is a statement that, that uh, even official American Jewry would agree with. There's a crisis going on. And I went to APAC last week, the, uh, uh, the, ma the major part of the Israel lobby, and they're very concerned about this. They are reaching out to others than Jews. They are spending a lot of money to, uh, I think, indoctrinate young Jews in this. But the, the, the sort of passionate belief in Israel that you see at APAC, it's very moving, actually, to see, excuse me, to see older Jews, how these people are, they're spending tons of money on another, uh, out of a generous impulse. I mean, they truly are really concerned about these people on the other part of, the, they're not spending it on themselves. They're not, uh, you know, they, they've all done well. I mean, but they're, they're spending it on their tribe, but they're just really generous, uh, these APAC people, and they're really concerned. And, um, but, and they love Israel. I mean, you just have to hand it, I mean, these things are genuine and sincere and fervent, but that feeling is not sustained 
in young Jews, and that is a real crisis for uh, those who support Israel. Thank <laughs> you.